side you can see um, this big monument cut into the rock here it's a war memorial to the French so soldiers that lost their lives um, in the first and second world war it's just a monument uh, to them okay Stuart thinks that he can have a go at naming everybody on the coach he's in to win the bottle of the wine um, so he's going to come down now and give that a go okay but he must get everybody's name right and he's not allowed to miss out anybody if he wants to win the bottle of the wine. As we go, as we, um, as we... Nice, Jerry. The old boy, what's his name? Tane. And Anna. And we've got... side you'll see there's a peninsula that juts out um, into the water there this is Cape Forat and it's some of the most expensive real estate in the world in the world is on this peninsula here the harbour is one of the deepest natural harbours in the world as well it's about 700 feet um, Bob Hope had a house down there Sammy Davis Jr. used to own property on Cape Forat as well and um, Rod Stewart also had a house but when he divorced Brett Eklund um, she got the house and Rod lost out so we're going to stop a little bit just up here and do a photo stop for you. So if you want to grab your cameras and everything and get them ready and then we'll um, jump off and have a photo and back onto the coach. See, it's so foggy though. I'm sorry. Mm. Oh, not too bad. Hi, hello, what's and everybody's here. We're late late up today, and they're all in. And they're here to 
The candle? Okay, okay, okay. There they are. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, they seem to stand. Oh, I found it. Wow, there it is. Carrying us out. Everybody's all fleshed up. I know, no place to go. Hello. Hello. Oh, sorry. Hello. Uh, Kindles. Uh -huh. Look at that. And there's Rob, all placed up and dressed for the casino. Looking wicked, wicked, wicked. Oh, it's another Rob. Mark one, Mark two. Yeah, Mark two. Yeah, right. Look at these hot little ladies here. Zoom in and on them. Oh, you just can't be telling somebody. Oh, that. no, it is Eric. My God. I'll be gone in about half an hour. See, you got a lot of tears. There's a fiver, there's a tour, there's a. I could probably easily convert that into a. Uh, change at the end of the night. You know what I'm saying? I love to gamble. It's a lot of fun. Hey, oh, let's do the man with the most Oh, sure, he's got another down there. Oh, yeah. And here we are, and I'm Megan. Smile, you're on candid camera. <laughs> hey, Tony! Couple of days. Oh, Anna! Hi! We're zooming in on Anna. Yeah. Oh, looking, yeah, looking, looking, looking. Oh, there. Oh, there's a little Canadian couple here. Oh, right. Oh, ooh la la. <laughs> oh, looking, looking, looking. As you look up to the right, you'll see there's a little hilltop village just ahead of the coast. This is um, the little village of the Indians. And they built a little hill on this people um, and only six percent of those are native Montaguese people um, the rest are people from France Italy or people that buy their citizenship if you look down this is the modern sector of the city just below us you can see a big sports stadium over there um, they held big European um, athletic championships here in 1990 um, and today it's used for like football athletics and that type of thing now, um, with the people that live in Monaco, as I said, only 6% are native Montaguese. Um, a lot of French people live here and a lot of Italians, but um, people can also buy residency to become citizens of Monaco. Um, Wayne Gardner, the Australian, he's a citizen. Uh, John McEnroe is a citizen. Bjorn Borg, Mats Philander. Um, basically, it's a lot of people that are trying that are using the city as a tax haven because they don't have to pay any tax when they live here um it's very some of them their citizenship is um under scrutiny at the moment Mats Philander and Bjorn Borg are two of them because they don't spend a required number of days in Monaco um each year now anybody who does apply for citizenship has to um be approved by Prince Rainier you cannot become a citizen unless um, you have Prince Rainier's approval and you have to pay for your citizenship and it's an undisclosed figure. Um, nobody really knows how much these people pay. But they don't pay taxes. The only people that pay taxes here are the French people that moved here after 1957 and they must pay tax, but the rest of the people don't. Um, Monaco is only very small. It's only 129 hectares in size. Um, and most of their wealth comes from... Um, life industries. A lot of people think it comes from the casinos, but the casinos only generate 4% of their income. If you look across just out here, you can see on the rock um, the Palace of Monaco. It's very hard to see through the trees and everything. We're actually going to be walking up to it so you'll get a much better, better view. Um, yeah, the, their income, the casinos only generate 4% of their income. They bring in about $300 million per year. 
and um, the, tw about 25% comes from light industries such as pharmaceuticals and cosmetics and the rest comes from property development, um, tourism and banking. Okay, so that's where the majority of their money comes from. They're very security conscious here in Monaco. They have um, one policeman for every 60 residents that live here and all over the town there are little video cameras that monitor everything you do. When we go up to the palace tonight we have to go up in a series of like escalators and elevators and it's the same when we go to the casinos and there's little videos everywhere and they watch what you do and just make sure that you're behaving yourself. The, the rock where the palace is today you can just see if you look across to the right now just back a little you'll see um, all the palace up on the hill there okay that's where we're heading now uh, in 1614 um, Monaco was given its tight um, status as a principality um, but then um, it was returned to French rule uh, from 1714 to 1794 then the um, kingdom of Sardinia took it over from 1815 to 1860 and it was Okay, this is all the marina and everything down here on the um, left hand side. The Grand Prix circuit will actually drive around later when we go down to the um, to the casinos. Okay, we'll point it out once we get up to the palace. Office.